Alright guys, so with Modern Warfare now upon us officially, I wanted to go over some of the best display, video, and audio settings as far as what I've come across and what I've seen. So one of the first things that you want to do is bring down your film grain to zero. Because as, as you can see, if you put the film grain up, obviously things are going to be a little more noisy, visual noise that is. And you definitely want a clear picture more than anything else, so definitely put that down to zero. I would turn off world motion blur because you don't want things to get blurry. Same thing with weapon motion blur. You want your picture to be as clear as possible. That way you have an advantage when not only coming across enemies, but traversing the world around you. Uh, you want the best possible picture because it's so hard to find um, and distinguish enemies in this game. So I would definitely do both of those things. Make sure they are on disabled. Let's move over to audio. Boost high is my favorite. I think that out of all of these different settings, and this is true from Black Ops 4, I did a test where I tested boost high, and they had something, which I don't see here right now, where they had uh, a different setting. Uh, I think it was Super Crunch. There you go, that's what it was. Super Crunch and boost high. And... Boost high or high boost was actually better because it allowed you to hear footsteps a lot more because of that booming noise. You know, when they're, you know, running across the map, you could definitely pick up on their footsteps a lot better with boost high. So that's where I would make the distinction where I would choose as my audio mix. As far as music volume goes, I would put that down. Uh, you can bring it down to zero if you would like. Uh, but it's totally up to you, but it definitely has to be a little bit lower than the master volume for sure. So that way the music doesn't distract you from getting an edge on footsteps and enemy movements, gunfire, all that sort of thing. So that's why I would bring this down. So totally up to you whether or not you want to put it on zero, put it on five, ten. Uh, you could adjust that to your liking, but I would definitely make sure you put the music volume down. And you definitely do not want it at 100, that's for sure. You could keep everything else the same, master volume, dialogue volume, and effects volume. Juggernaut music, totally up to you. If you are somebody who totally wants an advantage, even in the Juggernaut, to be able to hear other people, then you could disable it. That's totally up to you. But I would keep it uh, to your preference. It, it really doesn't matter. But if you want an advantage while you're in Juggernaut, I would just disable it. But that's totally up to you. Everything else... Again, I didn't change so much, but as far as the display settings, film grain, bring it down to zero. Bring down the motion blur for world and weapon to disabled. Audio again, music volume, bring it all the way down, up to zero or five, totally up to you. And everything else keep the same. So that's pretty much it. And by the way, boost high is my favorite. And you guys can play around with that if you want to. But from my experience, that has been the best for hearing footsteps. So if you guys have any more questions, leave them down below in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you guys like the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. With that being said, this is GCP signing off.